One of the biggest advancements in the whole document and content management space over the past few years has been a category of software called intelligent data capture or intelligent data recognition. Docstar, which is a division of Epicor, a billion dollar company out of Austin, Texas, has probably the best solution in that space. And the name of the product is Docstar IDC, Doc Intelligent Data Capture. And in essence, what it does is it can read data off of documents like invoices, bills of lading, proofs of delivery, anything, delivery orders, or purchase orders, uh, even down to the line out of detail. It can read that data off those documents and populate it directly to your ERP system or to your document management system and kick off an automated workflow. Um, the, this particular system is, the way it gets documents into the system is that it's uh, pulling them from an email address. So if you have uh, accounts payable at abccompany.com, you could just have these documents like, you know, for example, AP invoices go directly into the system and come in as a batch. You can even define a batch size. So we could say, uh, I don't want to see any documents in the IDC window here unless there's at least five of them. And uh, so it'll wait until five of your vendors have sent you an invoice and they'll present you one batch that you can just click on here and do a verification process, which we'll do in just a second. And after we look at invoice processing, we'll also look at um, line item detail and a purchase order coming from a customer. Uh, actually, three purchase orders. So let's begin with uh, how IDC can successfully help you process more invoices in fewer time by eliminating any manual data entry. So I'm going to click this batch. And as you can see, we have very a crisp and clear window here on the left hand side it shows me uh, the invoices that have been uh, that have come in this is a batch of five invoices and the one that's highlighted dark in the background they all have a green check mark and that's a good sign that means that the intelligent data capture software has uh, matched the rules basically it has gotten all the data that we want off these invoices if you see that it's red like this it Maybe the scanning wasn't that great. If you look closely at this $480, it doesn't look great. So you can set the confidence threshold at certain levels to say, maybe we should take an eyeball on this, you know, human eyeball, just to make sure we got it right. We can set the thresholds differently in the future. And in fact, if this invoice here from CRI keeps coming in with a green check mark, we can begin to just let it pass through directly. Uh, to our ERP system and not even ever take a look at it. This next one here uh, from an invoice from Cornell, it's got, um, it picked up all the data correctly, but I'm gonna show you a little feature here. So shipping and handling is $19. You can see that it found 19. But if I back that out and press enter, it doesn't like that anymore. So it'll give you this red circle and it shows that this is in red and it says the amount due value is not equal to the formula and the formula would be 216 dollars plus something equals 235. well we got rid of the shipping and handling over here the freight so if i add that back in let's just say the software didn't get this the first time around this is how you teach it so it is self-learning software so if i click this through the 19 dollars in there resatisfy the equation put the green check mark in you'll never see that one again so if all these invoices have the green check mark, all you have to do is click submit and they'll, the data and the invoices will be submitted to your ERP system or to your document management workflow for further approval. I'm gonna return this batch and I'm gonna go back to the home page. And now we're gonna step up the game here a little bit and show you something that's more difficult. The most difficult thing in this world of intelligent data capture is line item details. So, order line out of detail demo. So here we have three purchase orders uh, for a company uh, that uh, gets these purchases, Whitaker Oil Company. And this first one looks like it's uh, got the unhappy red symbol on it. 
But if you notice the line item detail is all looks like it's captured nice and neatly, but if you look closely at quantity for this particular lift gate delivery description, there is no quantity. And so it's down here saying there must be a quantity. Well, to satisfy that, I can put whatever I want. I can put not applicable, or I could just put zero and press enter, and it satisfied that, so we got the green check mark. Here's a little bit more advanced, and these can be multi-page as well. This one has uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, line items, and there they all are, and it's all, everything in here is correct. It get, got all the values. So wherever I click, it finds it seven, $748.80. It figures out uh, you know, your ship to address, ship to name, city, state, zip, everything. So these orders all came in correctly. They all got their, the correct item code, description, quantity, unit price, and line total. And this will save your company tons of money because with all this um, intelligent data capture going on, you can replace people who are doing this manually and redeploy them into more meaningful jobs uh, and also have fewer mistakes. Again, you would click submit and the data and the documents would go to your document management system and the data obviously would go to your ERP system. So that's it. That's how the intelligent data capture works. It's a game changer for almost any company and it works on all kinds of classifications of documents. Thank you.